In the day-to-day -day operations of handling food, many decisions need to be made about quality. It is important to know where your food comes from, how it's sourced, how to process it, how to store it, and the best cooking methods to match it. These tutorials will take you on your learning journey. Supply chain. Processing. Australian sardines are fished in New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia and Western Australia. The sardines main catching method is purse seining. This is when a purse seen net is deployed around a school of sardines. The catch is then brought on board into refrigerated holds at below zero temperatures to ensure the quality of the catch. The frozen sardines are then packed and prepared for transport. Receiving and storage. When receiving sardines, make sure there aren't too many sardines in the one box. Also, check the temperature and make sure they've been delivered with ice packs. The next step is to smell the sardines as they are a stronger fish. They can't be more than a day old. Eyes should be clear and not too slimy. Remember, sardines have a lot of oil content, so don't confuse this oil with slime. The sardines shouldn't be sitting in blood or fish juices. You should have nice silver fish, fishy smelling but not old. Clear eyes and not bruised. Sardine easily bruise and damage. Sardines are best used within the day. Best practice is to clean them to how your dish requires as soon as they come in. Otherwise, clean the gut out of them and either fill it and freeze down or take the head off and freeze down. Or freeze them whole after you have gutted them. Preparation. Cookery method grilling. Cookery method grilling. Grilling is the application of heat from underneath or over the top, or a combination of both. Essential tools for grilling are a spatula, pair of tongs, good Australian oil, and of course, awesome Australian fish. Grilling is a dry heat method of cookery, and oily Australian fish like Atlantic salmon, mullet, herring, tailor, and of course, sardines, lend themselves perfectly to grilling. To commence grilling, oil the bars a little bit, then take your whole sardine, lay them crossways across the bar, leaving space so the heat can get through. Now I'll take these beautiful butterfly sardine fillets, skin down. These will obviously take a lot less time to cook. One of the secrets with seafood is making sure you don't overcook. Okay, a little bit of seasoning. Salt is good. You get your scraper. These beautiful fillets, just gently turning them. A little bit of fresh lemon juice. Then on the plate, And here you have it, beautiful grilled Australian sardines with a hint of salt and some fresh lemon. Nutritional value. Australian sardines are an excellent source of omega-3, calcium, iodine and phosphorus. Omega-3 fatty acids contain anti-inflammatory properties which can reduce the risk of heart disease and arthritis. Calcium is required for normal development and maintenance of the bones, as well as proper functioning of the neuromuscular and cardiac function. Iodine is an integral part of the thyroid and helps normal growth and metabolism. Phosphorus transports energy and helps protect the blood's acid-base balance. You can find more nutritional value facts at superseafood.com.au. Seasonality and availability. Always check the seasonality when shopping for fish. You can do that by checking a seasonality calendar. If your preferred option is not in season, ask your supplier for an alternative. Efficient processing. Efficient processing can enable maximal use of raw material, thus contributing to increased economic profitability. For example, you can use wings and heads to make fish stock. Also, a new processing approach can produce mincemeat from the fish frames and the remainder can be sold as animal feed or fertilizer. 
This approach results in practically no unused waste or offcut material.